Billy Goat Bridge. <laughs> I've always heard this place was a hot spot for witchcraft, so I just had to check it out for myself. Many people who have ventured here before have claimed of hearing sounds coming from the surrounding woods and even seeing apparitions appear right in front of their own eyes. Being a skeptic, I had to see if these stories were true or nothing more than just that. Stories. So join me, David, and Caleb as we unravel the mysteries of Billy Goat Bridge. Oh my god. All right, so we're out here at Billy Goat Bridge. Um, is this Union? Oh, we're still Cherokee. Cherokee, yeah. Cherokee County. We're—I mean, we're—we're we're way out here in the woods. Like, there's nothing around us, probably for like at least a mile. Um, I've heard this place is like a, a huge hotspot for witchcraft. Don't really know much else about it, but um, there's another bridge on Billy Goat Bridge that people assume is the real Billy Goat Bridge, but this is the real one. Uh, the one I was talking about has like pentagrams drawn on it and everything, but uh, this one's the real Billy Goat Bridge way out here in the woods, off of uh, Billy Goat Bridge Road. Um, before we started recording, we heard some some noises from the woods, like knocking and whatnot. What'd you guys hear? Sounded like some knocking and banging out like that direction, no which way. is weird. Like there's no roads or anything that go out there. Like you can yeah. look, there isn't like a street light or there's nothing. There's nothing. And we heard a couple of voices when it first when we first got here too. Could have been a little far away. But... Yeah, hopefully people don't have plans to come out here and do some witchcraft tonight because uh, the bridge is a little occupied by us tonight. But we're gonna do a couple of sessions, uh, EVPs. Sorry, not EVPs. EMF, uh, spirit box, and see if we can find anything. Definitely the the. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay. What is going on? I really hope this is picking us up. You got chills. All right, well, we're gonna do some tests. We'll be back, guys. The EVP is uh, flickering. I don't know if you saw that. What does that mean? Because it was doing orange. Anything here? Oh. Did you guys hear that? Let me rewind it for you. Anything here? Oh. I almost missed this while reviewing the footage, but if you listen closely, you can hear some sort of noise that resembles groaning. None of us heard this noise while recording, which leads me to believe this is an EVP or electronic voice phenomenon. Obviously, this could very well have some sort of rational explanation, but I can't think of any. If any of you watching have some sort of answer, please let me know down in the comments. Here. Is there a presence? We are not here to disturb you. We just want to learn about you. Can you make this light up all the way? It's, it's blinking right here. but so Let's try right here. Let's try it here. I'm going to get the spirit box and we're going to do a little quick uh, investigation. It's like sitting in a triangle or something. Yeah. You don't have to. I've... No. Uh. As we were setting up for the lights out session, David's car lights turned on by themselves. Now I know you guys are thinking when David was sitting down something in his pocket must have interacted with his key, but the key was the only thing in David's pocket. This could very well be written off as an eerie coincidence, but it was still worth noting and adding to the final footage. Like, if I had something in my pocket that would have hit my keys or something, that would be one thing. But there was nothing in my pocket. That was weird. I must have touched my keys. Alright. We're out here in the dark. No lights whatsoever. Would you like to make contact with us?
make a noise or a creak. I heard that. Make that noise again. Can you? Oh. Can you make that noise a little closer? Make a noise on the bridge. Are you a burned victim? What do you want to tell us? That's so creepy, dude. What is it? There's no house. Around. There's no natural yeah. explanation either. So. It's like there's all these. I mean, there's not even power lines out here. It oh. is. 49 minutes after midnight in the middle of February. In the backwoods of South Carolina. Yeah. There's like, no, there's my no. hands are freezing. It is so cold out here. Right now. Yeah. Like, if we wanted to call the police, we couldn't. Yeah. yeah no there's service. no signal, no service. And there's just a noise in the woods. A metal noise, not a animal noise. Yeah. Very weird. Knocks every once in a while. Was there something that happened at that house back up the road a little ways? It's just the chimney left. Was that your house? Or did you know anyone in the house? Are you close to us? Dude, what is it? Even if that's like a power pole or something, or like there's nothing around. There's nothing out yeah, like, yeah. You, you couldn't even do that shift. I'm gonna quote our colleague Seth and say, "If you're a real one, touch Garrett." I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't like that quote. <laughs> Y'all do something, bro. The EMF reader never went off during this session and we never got any kind of activity from the spirit box, but if you listen closely right here, especially with headphones on, you will hear a pacing or marching, almost as if something is circling us in the surrounding area. Again, we definitely did not hear this while we were recording because I'm sure we would have noticed. I'm not quite sure what this noise is, but if anyone has any answers, please let me know because when I heard this, it kind of freaked me out. What are you doing, something? We just ain't doing it over here. Yeah, we're over here, dog. Where are you? What happened here? Was there a fire? Did somebody get burned here? Oops. I think I heard like that. Just crash the bridge. Hmm. Could you imagine looking down and seeing a pair of eyes? Yeah, at least I would. <laughs> I believe we aren't is. ghost hunters anymore. <laughs> We're ghost witnesses. Show us something. Not many people come out here. Maybe your chance for a while. Are you close? We've come to visit you and to learn about you. Are you, are you all? Yeah, how many are here? We've heard recordings of a couple of voices out here. You want to give us a few recordings? 
Almost immediately after the lights out session, David began to experience a burning sensation on his arm and after some time, a scratch can be seen to form where he felt the burning. After we examine the scratch, we call out to the presence trying to provoke a response and an odd noise can be heard. I can't tell if it's words or just a noise, but if you can tell what it's saying, please let me know. I also want to point out David was the one telling the spirit to harm me, quote, if he was a real one. It's kind of funny that I went for him instead in a kind of messed up way. Sorry, David. Did that just now happen? Yeah. It burns too. Like, Ugh. from that little scar? And like, see how it's red here? Like, mm -hmm. th those scars have existed. But right there, it's red. And like, my feel, feel my muscle right there. It's like really tense. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. But it feels like I'm like flexing. Burns? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Did you just scratch David? It's starting to come on my arm. Oh yeah, it is. Hang on. Oh, I gotta make sure. That's weird. Move your light back a little bit. There you go. Oh my god. That's kind of, that's kind of weird, man. And with that, our job at Billy Goat Bridge is done. We definitely had a lot of interesting things occur there that night, and some even being unexplainable. On the way out, David got one last quick video of the bridge and caught what looks like a ghost orb on camera. This is our first ghost orb caught on cam, so that's pretty exciting. Now the big question is, is the fabled Billy Goat Bridge really haunted? I don't know if I would say haunted, but maybe a portal of some sort connecting our world with the spirit world? We captured a few EVPs and some compelling evidence, but it didn't feel the same as it did when we investigated the Cherokee Chronicle and Mr. Virgil. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're local and think you may be experiencing a haunting, please reach out to me and I would love to investigate your case for free. But with that, I'm going to get out of here and you know what they say. You can lead a billy goat to water, but if it drinks, it's haunted. That's episode two, guys. Billy Goat Bridge is haunted. Why do they even call it Billy Goat Bridge? I didn't see a single goat. And why does everything need to be gluten-free? I hate it here. Chicken nuggets should not be gluten-free. That should be considered a crime. Who else hates that? That's oh, the bug truck. What bugger jam?